Hey guys, I hope you're well. Today's video is about the network architecture of GSM networks with and without GPRS enhancement. GSM without GPRS can only enable phone calls and text messages. So no mobile data. That came in GPRS. GPRS was introduced much later in the 1990s and it could provide internet services on your phone, which was a huge thing at the time. The best way to understand any network architecture is to follow the logic and the workflow of the services. When you use your mobile phone to make a call, it is connected to the base station, which is part of the radio network. The radio network provides the muscle power, but the real brain power comes from the core network, which connects you to whoever you want to connect with. The core network is linked to the outside networks, like the telephone networks and the internet. Now, if you're too young and did not use a mobile phone in the 1990s or early 2000s, let me inform you that this sketch you see on the left side of the screen is what mobile phones roughly used to look like back in the day. Nowadays, of course, we have smartphones that look very different from this little sketch on the screen. But uh, anyway, let's just get to the architecture. So a GSM mobile phone establishes a connection with the nearby base station called a BTS or Base Transceiver Station. What is a transceiver? A transceiver is a device that can transmit and receive simultaneously. So transmit and receive becomes transceive. The base station in GSM is not as clever as in 4G LTE and 5G networks, so it therefore requires some sort of supervision from a supervisor. This supervisor or big boss entity is a BSC or base station controller. A BSC can control multiple BTSs in its location and you can have various BSCs in a network. The BTS and BSC are collectively called BSS or Base Station Subsystem. The BSC then connects the phone to the MSC or the Mobile Switching Center, which is one of the most important entities within the GSM Mobile Core Network. The MSC is linked to the outside networks via GMSC or Gateway MSC. The external networks include telephone networks such as the PSTN, Public Search Telephone Network, and ISDN, which stands for Integrated Services Digital Network. The MSC is a circuit switch entity responsible for only voice calls and text messages, SMS. So do you see where we're going with this? So the MSC does not support mobile internet or mobile data because that in GSM networks comes from the packet switch technology, which is GPRS. But before diving into GPRS architecture, let's try to understand these other boxes here, which are AUC, HLR, VLR, and EIR. AUC stands for Authentication Center. But what exactly does it authenticate? You may wonder, right? The Authentication Center is a database that validates the SIM card and uses ciphering so the phone can securely connect to the mobile network. The next ones are HLR and VLR. HLR is the home location register and VLR is the visitor location register. HLR basically contains information about your home location, as the name suggests, and the services that you're entitled to use. HLR is a centralized database. VLR stands for Visitor Location Register and it is a decentralized or distributed database that keeps the HLR updated on the location and service status of users. EIR is the Equipment Identity Register and this is the database where all the IMEI numbers that are registered on the network are kept. So this is a very important register for many reasons including stolen or lost mobile phones. Now let's have a quick look at the GSM network architecture with the GPRS enhancement. 
As you can see, we now have two additional boxes in this network architecture, but they do make the overall picture look a lot more complicated. As we discussed earlier, MSC does not take care of the mobile internet, so in GPRS we get a new entity called SGSN, or Serving GPRS Support Node, which is linked to the MSC, HLR, EIR, BSC, and also a gateway called GGSN, Gateway GPRS Support Node. GGSN connects the phone to outside data networks like the internet. So that was a quick overview of the simplified network architecture for GSM networks. And here is a more enhanced version of the GSM GPRS architecture with information on the interfaces as well. So for example, the interface between the BDS and BSC is called ABIS. But I'll let you absorb this information on your own, or you can check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.